Hi guys, Jay here from borntoproduce.com and I hope you're doing well. Just wanted to add an extra lesson to the remix course that we have on our site as we've had quite a bit of uh, technology upgrades when it comes to extracting vocals, getting your acapellas or your instrumentals. There's been some really great developments in the last few months and I wanted to talk to you about those today. Obviously this is great for your mashups and your remixes or your, your unofficial bootlegs, that kind of thing. So this is an update to that course. But please remember, you will never ever beat the quality of a studio a cappella, and you can always, well not always, but you can sometimes find these on Google, YouTube and the other websites that I mentioned in the course in one of the earlier lessons. I'll put them on the screen just to remind you. So you're never going to beat the quality of a studio a cappella, of course, because there's nothing else mixed in with it to upset the balance or to create any artifacts, that sort of thing. These techniques I'm about to show you do a pretty good job of pulling out the vocal from a fully mixed song, which is pretty amazing. It's pretty much sorcery. It's like wizard stuff, what they're doing here. It's really amazing to pull out a vocal from a fully mixed track. But you still get a few artifacts here and there. It's never going to be perfect, but the technology has made it so it is almost perfect. And don't worry too much about having artifacts and a a tiny bit of drums coming through or a slight weirdness on the vocal because once you've mixed that in with your other track, let's say you're doing a mashup, once you've mixed that vocal into your other track, all those artifacts are going to be masked and once you've got some effects on it and that sort of thing, you, you're going to be hard pushed to know that that vocal has been extracted in that way. So I guess what I'm saying is the quality is not perfect, but it's very usable. And also another thing I want to make sure that you're aware of is that the extraction process on the techniques I'm about to show you works much better when you have a very, very high quality file, like a lossless file, like WAV, AAC, that kind of thing. If you've got a low quality MP3, which has all been compressed and horrible, basically then the software is going to have a much harder time in pulling out that vocal cleanly for you. So that's another thing to know. Okay, so there's a few different ways to do it. Let's hop over to Cubase 11, because with Cubase 11, and if you're a Cubase user, this has just got a whole lot easier. And if you're into mashups and remixes, then this is an absolute game changer. As long as you've got Cubase Artist or Pro, then you've got something called Spectral Layers 1. It comes with it for free now. So I've got a little clip here. I'm just going to demonstrate how this works. This is a clip taken from our Cubase Ultimate Beginners course. So you can hear it's quite a full mix and this is the song you can make with us if you get the course. But we're going to pull the vocal out of that and it's pretty amazing that it can do this actually. Go to audio, go to extensions, spectral layers. Now there's loads of things you can do with this but we're just going to use it for vocals. But you can change it to a nice coloured view there if you want. But all you need to do is go to layer, unmix vocals. Now sensitivity, I've played around with this and the best results I've found is just to leave it at zero. So press OK and it's going to take a minute or two to do that. So now we have the stems on the right hand side. With Cubase Spectral Layers we only have two stems. Some of the other techniques I'm about to show you actually separate them into four stems rather than two. So here we've got vocals and then everything else. So just going to play it to you how it was. My heart be filled with war. And let's just solo the vocals. No longer shall I fear the pain it is no more. No longer... So it's even bringing out the reverb on that vocal. It's even bringing out the backing vocals. You can slightly hear the drums in the background and you can slightly hear a couple of the effects, but but really, it's pretty damn amazing. And alone and wrong, no longer will I lay. All you've got to do is filter out the low end of that, stick that over the top of another track, another instrumental, and you've got a mashup. That is pretty damn awesome. Let's just go with the instrumental now, so I'll just mute the vocals.
Again, that's pretty damn good if you ask me. It's the best I've heard so far. The old method, which is explained in the course of getting the instrumental version and the normal version and reversing the polarity on one side and it takes out the vocal that way. You had to be so precise getting that to work right. This is just so much easier. It's literally one or two clicks and it's done for you. And the result is as good, if not better, than the old way of doing things. You can slightly hear the vocals in the background if you listen really, really carefully. But again, if you're using the instrumental, you then chuck in someone else's vocals over the top. You're never going to hear the old vocals. That's goddamn amazing. And if you want to bring this into your project, literally just drag and drop your vocals in. And there's your vocals. So that's Cubase 11 Spectral Layers 1, which comes free with Cubase 11 Artist or Pro. Next is Isotope RX8, which unfortunately is quite expensive. As you can see, you have to have the standard version or the advanced. And there are your prices down the bottom there. But this is the same kind of thing, but with four bands. You've got Music Rebalanced, which has now been improved. And you can not only take out the vocals, you can mix the levels of them as well, but you also separate the bass, the percussion and other as well. So you can actually rebalance, which is what it's saying up here. You can totally rebalance and you know, you've got a lot more kind of scope as to what you can do. You've got a quality setting here. You've got more controls on how you separate those bands than what you've got in Cubase 11, but this is obviously very expensive. So I've not used this. I can't tell you the quality of it, but when I'm watching a few videos on YouTube, it looks pretty good. So the next thing I want to talk about is doing this in a live situation, and that would be in your DJ software. So Algorithm do DJ software called DJ, and I've actually used it a lot. It's actually my favorite DJ software. I've tried all the other ones, all the big names, Rekordbox, Serato, Tractor, all that. I've tried them all. But for me, DJ is the best one for me, but it only works on a Mac. But they've just brought out this thing called Neural Mix, which is the same thing. It's real-time music source separation. So you can start pulling out vocals, start pulling out percussion, all the rest of it live whilst the song is playing while you're DJing. If you've already got DJ Pro, then you just need to do a free upgrade to DJ Pro AI, or you can get Neural Mix as a separate app. But there is a £50 charge or £49 charge, I think it is, to use the Neural Mix software within the app, and that is per year. It's only it's only four or five pounds a month, something like that, so it's pretty good. And I have used this, I did use it on my older Mac. The only problem is that this is really designed for the newer Macs with the Core ML and the new Bionic chip, which my Mac doesn't have. So my Mac, Although it did a pretty good job of live music rebalancing and pulling out the vocals. It was pretty good fun actually putting in some old tracks like from the 70s or whatever and it pulls out the vocals pretty well and you can mix that in obviously over the top of something else. But my Mac was struggling a little bit. Every now and again it would just like stutter and it just couldn't handle doing it in live real time. So if you have got one of these new Macs or iPads or whatever then this is going to work really really well for you. Again, YouTube, there's loads of videos of all these things being demonstrated. Neural Mix here, let's four here straight away. So go and have a look at that. You can also do the same thing in Virtual DJ 2021. Here it is, real-time stems separation. I haven't used it, but it probably works exactly the same way as Neural Mix in DJ software. Although it's actually saying you can separate it into five pans here. I don't know of any other bits of DJ kit that does this. I did have a look at Rekordbox and, and all the other ones, but and Serato, but I couldn't personally find that service that they're doing it. Maybe they are, but I couldn't find it. The only other thing I could find was the native instrument stems, which are for use with Tractor. And there's some, again, there's some great demo videos around YouTube. But this is where you buy stems specifically designed to mix with stems. So you buy the pack of stems, tells you what stems are. You're buying basically the drums, the bass, melody, voice in the first place as a pack. And then you can mix those stems using Tractor and the special features in Tractor. 
So you're gonna end up with a better quality because all the stems are completely clean, but you're gonna to have to buy specific stems. You can only buy the stems that are available. So if the latest song comes out and let's say stems are not available for that, then you're kind of screwed. Then you'd have to go back to one of the other techniques, I guess. So there's a couple of online services available as well. One's called Extracts Stems, and you've got free trials with these, and but they're, they're not very expensive anyway, if you wanted to actually pay for them properly. But this is where you chuck in your song, which whatever it might be, you chuck it in, uploads to the server, Extract Stems then comes along and separates it for you, it takes a little while, then it downloads to your computer. So it's all done in the cloud, and you can see here that you've got your four separated elements here again so vocals drums bass etc etc so it's all very very similar and the quality of these things is they're all pretty much the same i mean it's, it's pretty good but it's not perfect you've also got a de-bleed slider so they all pretty much have you know a kind of sensitivity control or a de-bleed control depending on what you call it and all this is doing is just saying how narrow the band is that's being pulled out so you go one way on the slider and the vocal sounds better, but you have more of the drums coming through, that kind of thing. Or you go narrow and the, you get less of the bleed on other instruments, but your vocal doesn't sound very natural. It just sounds really kind of weird. So you, there's like a balancing act. I you the new de-bleed feature lets you decrease or increase the amount of bleed from other musical elements that you hear in a stem. More bleed can make your stem sound more full and realistic, while less bleed can give you a more pure isolation of the desired sound. So if you're interested in extracts, come and watch the demo video here. And there's one more service I want to tell you about. And it's a very similar service. It's called Easy Stems, EZ Stems. And you can just chuck in your YouTube link or upload an audio file, exactly the same kind of thing, and it will spit you out a separated version. So very similar to the extra stems. Again, there's a small charge for this. You can do it for free, but there's certain restrictions like low quality, that kind of thing. So if you're wondering which one's best, then they're all kind of similar. I mean, I really like the quality of the Cubase one. So I have seen video demos of all of these and they're all doing a very good job, basically. Not perfect, but very, very usable and a lot easier this whole process is, which is the main thing than it used to be. So that's it guys for the extra lesson in our Remix course. If you want to check out our Remix course, I'll put a link below and our Cubase 11 beginners course as well. But until the next time guys, I wish you all the best and happy producing. See you later, bye bye.